Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart around 1781 on an Anglo concertina in the key of C major. Here is an Anglo concertina. Your right hand is positioned on the side that has the air button within reach of your thumb. Your Anglo concertina is what is known as a diatonic instrument, just like a harmonica. This means that when you press down on any button, the note played will be different depending on whether you are drawing out or pushing in on your concertina. For the sake of this lesson, we will label the fingers on both hands as one, two, three, and four. The fingers will be transparent so that you can see which button is being pressed and the keyboard will be facing you for the same reason. However, when you hold your concertina and play it, remember to hold it like this and not like this. The fingers of your left hand will be called L1, L2, L3, and L4, whereas those on your right will be R1, R2, and so forth. Also, for this lesson, we will be focusing mainly on the middle row of buttons, which contain the notes used in the key of C. You will notice the one button in the top row of the left hand. Well, when you press that down and draw your bellows out, that produces the note G. And remember, when drawing and pushing, don't be too hard with your concertina. So let's get straight into it. Here's what Twinkle Twinkle Little Star looks like when the notes are written down in the key of C. You'll notice that I've broken it up into five phrases, but that phrases four and five are exactly the same as phrases one and two. Here's what it sounds like. C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C, G, G, F, F, E, E, D, G, G, F, F, E, E, D, C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. So let's have a closer look at phrase one. Begin with the bellows drawn out a bit so that you don't run out of air. First, press L3 on middle three and R1 on middle one and push. Then press L1 on M1 and R1 on M1 and push. Then press L3 on M3 and R3 on M3 and push. Then press L1 on M1 and R3 on M3 and push. Press L2 on M2 and R4 on M4 and draw. Press L1 on M2 and R4 on M4 and draw. Press L3 on M3 and R3 on M3 and push. Then keep R3 on M3 and press L1 on M1 and push. After some practice, you should end up with something that sounds like this. For the second phrase, you'll need to press L2 on M2 and R3 on M3 and draw. Then press L1 on M1 and R3 on M3 and draw. Press L3 on M3 and R2 on M2 and push. Press L1 on M1 and R2 on M2 and push. Press L3 on M3 and R2 on M2 and draw. Press L2 on T2 and R2 on M2 and draw. Press L3 on M3 and R1 on M1 and push. Keep R1 on M1 and press L1 on M1 and push. After some practice, you should be able to play something like this. Now, 
Now for phrase three. Before you play the third phrase, if you don't have enough bellows, push the air button with your right thumb, and this will allow you to draw your bellows without producing a sound. Then press L3 on M3 and R3 on M3 and push. Press L1 on M1 and R3 on M3 and push. Press L2 on M2 and R3 on M3 and draw. Press L1 on M1 and R3 on M3 and draw. Press L3 on M3 and R2 on M2 and push. Press L1 on M1 and R2 on M2 and push. Press L3 on M3 and R2 on M2 and draw. Then keep R2 on M2 and press L2 on T2 and draw. And don't forget to repeat this phrase. And after some practice, you should be able to play something like this. Now remember, after phrase three, you then repeat phrases one and two again, which are exactly the same as phrases four and five. So there's no need to go over them again. Once you've learned to play these five phrases separately, try putting them all together. And there you have it. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also, please check out some of my other lessons. And until next time, stay tuned. See ya.